Hi, my name is Isaac and this is a brand new 2021 Toyota Tacoma SR with the SX appearance package. And today we're going to find out what is included on the base model Toyota and if it's worth it. So without further ado, let's get started. Well, actually, wait, before we get started, I really need to get this off my chest. This doesn't have anything to do with the truck, but what is up with Jason Statham movies? I just saw a Jason Statham movie last night in theaters and I realized all of them are the same. They're always like, I'm your average American man. Yes, I know, I have an English accent, but I'm wearing a flannel and a baseball cap. And I also drive a pickup truck. The three most American things that you can do. So anyway, the bad guys wrong my family in some way. It doesn't really matter. It's just an excuse so that I can beat them up for two hours. And as the movie comes to a close, in the final battle, maybe I get shot or something. And you think, oh no, maybe he's gonna die. Of course I'm not gonna die, I'm Jason Statham. Being shot with a nine millimeter bullet is like being hit with a sunflower seed thrown by a small child. So anyway, I get back up and I defeat the bad guy. You know, come to think of it, it doesn't even matter if the bad guys are human. I'll fight a shark if it's wrong my family in some way. Before we begin, I want to thank Koch 33 Toyota for allowing me to review this vehicle. For all your Toyota needs, you can visit Koch 33 in Easton, Pennsylvania right off of Route 33 or at their website, Koch33Toyota.com. Starting out up front on the base model SR, no, I'm not going to do the Jason Statham voice the entire time. Do you know how incredibly grating this is on my throat? I practically have to go home and gargle salt water after every time I do it. <laughs> I hope it made you smile at least for that intro bit. Anyway, starting here with the headlights, you'll have basic halogens and incandescent turn signals. No option for fog lights on the base SR, though you are going to get Toyota Safety Sense built into the grille, so that's your radar guided cruise control, your automatic emergency braking, and your lane keeping assist. It's amazing to see Toyota include that across their lineup, even at the base models. As far as I know, no other pickup truck manufacturer includes that on their base models from the factory, it's almost always an option. Moving underneath the hood, this particular Tacoma is powered by a 3.5 liter Atkinson cycle V6, making 278 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. And that is made into a six-speed automatic transmission. There is also an option for a four-cylinder engine, though I haven't been able to find that to review for you guys. It seems like that's pretty rare nowadays on the Tacomas. Moving to the profile of the SR, starting here with the wheels and tires, you're going to have Firestone Destination 245-75R tires around these really nice blacked out 16-inch wheels. These are the main attraction on that SX appearance package. The other additional thing is it's going to add these blacked out fender flares and you're going to have blacked out mirror caps and door handles, which I think is kind of funny because normally base models have blacked out door handles and mirror caps, but they kind of went all in with the fender flares and the wheels as well to give it a pretty nice contrasting look against this white color on here. Pretty basic mirrors. They are power, but there is no blind spot monitoring or anything. This is a access cab, as Toyota calls it. So there is back seats in here. And then very briefly, I'm just going to demonstrate how you open the rear door and how it actually feels to sit in there. So you open the driver's door and then there is a handle that opens this up. Now I am 5'9 and I have this seat about where I'd be sitting. So as you can see, not a ton of room back here, but if we get in, um, if, I, if I have my knees around the seat, uh, it's passable. Um, I, let me see really quick if I close this. Yeah, there, there's, I have a little bit of room with my knee. And then headroom is zilch. Uh, my head at 5'9 is touching the ceiling. So for really quick trips, I would say, yeah, sure, go for it. But um, anything other than that, and anybody taller than me, uh, you're going to have a really bad time back here in the access cab. But the good news is that these seats can fold up and you can use this space back here for storage if you want instead of carrying people around. This is more like an emergency people carrier in the rear here. And if you're looking for a bigger back seat, obviously the Tacoma does offer that with its full double cab. Moving along the rear here, you'll get your gas cap and your SX badge right there. 
then you will get body color bumpers, which is weird that the SR has it, but the SR5, the next trim up, has chrome ones. I actually deleted those on my own truck because I did not like them. I prefer the body color ones. And then if we move here to the handle, it says Toyota in it, and you'll also get your backup camera integrated in there and a key. And then I do also really like how it says Toyota down here, and you'll get your 4x4 badge. And then opening it up, it is a dampened tailgate, and that enters us into this six foot bed wrapped in a composite uh, bed. It's not a bed liner, it's actually the bed itself. So it's like a fiberglass material and it's hopefully going to hold up a lot longer than a traditional bed would with a drop-in bed liner or a spray-in. Thus far, I've had my truck for two years and it's held up really, really well. Barely any chipping or scratching on it. I love it. And then you're also gonna get a little cubby down here for storage, which is nice to see. Only on one side though, unfortunately. Though you are gonna get rails for tie downs, so you can clamp them on there and slide them along the railing, which is really nice. And then there's spots for two by fours you can put in the bed right there to support some stuff. I really like that. And then putting the tailgate back up, moving down here, if memory serves me correctly, this has a towing capacity of up to 6,400 pounds. Overall, I'm actually very impressed with the Toyota offering. I'm actually walking away. There's a bee right around my head. And uh, so there we go. Okay, he went away. I would, as I was saying, very impressed with Toyota's offering on their lower trims here. Moving to the interior of the SR, starting here with the door panel, really nice to see that this is actually soft touch material right here, though this still is hard touch plastic, but it still makes a nice armrest. And then moving down here, you're going to have your window switches and the lock and unlock as well as your mirror controls and then your automatic high beams button and your traction control off. And then if we move up here to the gauge cluster, you do get a small screen in here flanked by two traditional gauges. It does give you a lot of info, a lot of readouts with your radar guided cruise control, your messages, stuff like that. Fairly basic though um, when it comes compared to other things um, in, the, in the segment. Like I know for instance, my truck has a tire pressure monitor right on this menu that this does not have. It looks like it's just got the radar guided cruise control and the digital speedometer, fuel economy, the basic stuff. So this does not include everything that some of the higher trucks do, but it is still nice to have that little screen. And then up there in the corner, you can see that little green thing that is actually your lane departure warning on. If we go to the steering wheel controls, you actually have buttons for that. So if you want to turn lane departure warning off, you can, and that will leave the gauge cluster. This little uh, dial right here controls the center gauge screen. And then this you can auto set. So um, if you want like the digital speedometer to be your uh, preset, you can hit that if you're lost in the menu. And then over here, you'll have your volume controls and your Bluetooth uh, hang up and call. It's really nice to see this. You can, you can hold call and well, there's nothing Bluetooth set up, but you would normally be able to call, which is really, really cool. And that pretty much wraps up the steering wheel. So moving to the screen, you get a seven inch infotainment system in here with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Toyota really, really, this is really, really impressive. This is a very impressive offering from Toyota on a lower trim. Re this is a really impressive offering from Toyota on a lower trim. Traditionally, Toyota was always kind of behind on Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and other infotainment stuff. But in this case, they have started to include larger screens with more technology, even on their lower trims. So that's always nice to see. This screen is a tiny little bit laggy, but overall the performance is pretty good. Um, and I'm just thankful that it even includes a screen like this. And then, you know, one thing I do want to note is it says map right here but it, it's actually not installed. Um, so you actually, I think, have to get navigation from Toyota, which is an upcharge, uh, even though the button is included on here. So that's one disappointing thing. Uh, I did want to point out that it is not included uh, from the factory with them. Moving a little bit below that, you'll have your climate control screen right there and your dual zone climate control, which is really nice. Dual zone climate control in a base model truck. I don't even have dual zone climate control in my 2019 SR5. So that's really nice to see. You'll get heated mirrors, which is another really nice commodity. And you'll have your four wheel drive settings right here, your hazards and your ECT power. I believe that's electronically controlled tubas. I don't know. I don't know what the T stands for, but when you're merging onto the highway, um, 
that actually makes it a little bit um, easier to merge and the gears uh, have a wider shift point, which is nice. And then you'll have a USB right here and a 12 volt. As you can see, there is a lot of blank switches in this truck. So there is quite a few more options on the Toyota Tacoma models, but what this includes is still pretty nice for the price tag. Then you'll have your shifter down here, pretty basic, but it is um, very nice. It looks like it's got leather down here. And really quickly shifting it into reverse, you do get a decent backup camera on here, though when you turn the wheel, it does not move the parking lines. And you'll have a leather wrapped um, e-brake as well. Really nice to see that. And then you'll have a regular cup holder and a spot for a Fiji water. And then opening this up down here, you'll have USB and USB-C in your little storage bin. So that's pretty nice to see USB-C in here. Overall, the interior is pretty well appointed. You do also get an SOS um, little drop down thing here. Don't want to accidentally push it, um, but that's like an emergency call. So that's really cool to see. And then you'll also have your dome light controls and a sunglasses holder up here. Really briefly moving to the back, as I mentioned, just to give you a little bit more of a uh, closer look here, if it'll focus, there we go. You have very tiny seats back there and then you'll have the seat belts right there and there is a little storage bin. And as I mentioned before, you can fold those seats up if you want for more storage. And then you do get a manual rear sliding window. Really nice to see a rear sliding window at all. Really happy that Toyota included that. Oh, that's hard to do with the angle I'm at. And you can also fold these headrests down if you want for better visibility out the rear windows. It's very cozy in here. I actually do like it. It's just, it's tiny and it's not, you know, amazingly equipped, but it's cozy. And I like, I like that feeling. I think that this is a really nice interior. All right, driving the 2021 Tacoma SR with the SX appearance package. You know, this is a nice little truck. I really do wish I could drive that four cylinder to see how it handles because this is the V6, which is on my truck. And so I'm very familiar with this engine. Now this is the first one that I've driven for the 2021 model year in automatic. I drove a manual transmission TRD off road a little bit earlier this year for another review. And obviously that would not have the shifting issues because the shifts are dependent on me. And so this does appear like it's fixed the previous transmission shifting issues in the third generation. Like mine really jumps sometimes and this is much smoother. So I'm really happy to see that it seems like Toyota has fixed that issue, which is good to hear. And you know, it's a really smooth engine, you know, opening it up here. It's responsive. It's funny. I drive this in. I drive this every day. Like I drive this with my Tacoma SR5 every day. So it feels like my engine just a little bit more responsive, tiny bit smoother in its handling. So that's cool, you know, and uh, I, I really just think this is a nice little truck. And the features that you do get for the price are pretty good. And I'm impressed with how much Toyota packs in on their lower trims, because I think a lot of manufacturers, I'm gonna name them Ford and Chevy, don't put as much effort into their lower trimmed work trucks or their perceived work trucks, their base models, because they're like, oh, people will buy them. They'll, they'll buy them because we're, we're Ford or we're Chevy, so people will buy them no matter what, it doesn't matter, we don't have to put work in. And so in turn, it's funny because Toyota wants to fight more for that market share and clearly Tacoma has won. But I wonder if that's also because they care about every model they make. It's not just the premium ones that they focus on. And so it's just nice to see that quality and attention to detail when it comes to these. So that pretty much concludes this driving segment of the SR. I really like it and I think that it's a nice little work truck or a little drive around town truck and I think it would definitely be really reliable for you. I can attest I've had my third gen for two years, no issues. Obviously you'd hope a brand new vehicle wouldn't have issues within two years, but mine's really held up well and I love it. I love my truck and so I would highly recommend a Toyota to anyone. But if you're looking for a Ford Ranger or a Chevy Colorado, I also have reviews of those trucks on my channel. So you can check those out too to compare.
So that's going to conclude this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you could like and subscribe, that would really help my channel out quite a bit. And I am a Christian, so if you have any prayer requests, you can leave those in the comments below. Lastly, I like to do a weekly Bible verse, so here that is. And with that, as always guys, no matter what vehicle you drive, I hope it lasts you a long time and it serves you well. I'll see you next time.